everybody, welcome to Catherine Sews. Today I want to show you two techniques for doing a hand sewn hem. One of the techniques involves serging the edge first and the other one is um, better if you don't have a serger. All you're going to need is a needle and thread and your iron and if you have a serger that's great too but it's okay if you don't. So the first thing you have to do when you're doing a hem is deciding how long you want the garment. So if it's a skirt, you might need a friend to help you to level it around. It should be the same distance off the floor all the way around. And you can use a yardstick and make little chalk marks or pins where you want it to finish. If it's pants and you know your legs are the same length, then you really just need one pin in the bottom of the pant leg to show you where you want it to finish. Or you can measure your pant legs separately if that works better for you too. But for most people, just one pin at the bottom of your pant leg to show you where you want it to finish is fine. Let me show you first of all the method you would use if you have a serger. Okay, so let's say that this is my skirt or my pant leg. If it's pants, then I'm going to have both pant legs lined up together, one on top of the other. And if this is where I want them to finish, then I just want to leave one and a quarter inches or three centimeters below that pin. So I'm going to mark this. There's my chalk mark. Now I just need to see how much am I cutting off. So that is three inches I'm going to be cutting off. So I'll mark that three inches across. Draw a line. I'm using Taylor's wax, but you can use Taylor's chalk or even a pencil because we're cutting this right off. And then cut right on that line for both layers. Good. And now if we're surging, then you would just surge around both of those edges. Good. So there's my surged edge. And now I'm gonna to go to the iron and turn up that three centimeters that we left. I'm gonna turn that up and press that with the iron. Flip your skirt or your pant leg inside out. If you have one of these sewing gauges, this is a great time to use it. Set it for your inch and a quarter or three centimeters. And you want to just check that all the way around. So mark that three centimeters and then give that a press all the way around. I'm not going to crease the sides here because that'll end up looking funny. So open it out the other way now and check that they, this is three centimeters, inch and a quarter there. Now I would normally, of course, use thread that matches, but I want you to be able to see. So I'm gonna use bright red thread and I'm gonna take about one and a half arm's length. And we're just gonna use a single thread for this. So I'm just putting that through the needle, not bringing the ends together, and then putting a knot in the other end of the thread. So to do that, I wrap it around my thumbnail it off so I have that number six and then roll back and forth back and forth pull that whole big mess down until you get that nice big fat knot right at the end of your thread good okay now I want to hide that knot it's good that it's big because it won't slip through the fabric but I don't want it to show so I'm gonna hide it on the underside of my surged edge good now coming out of the surging there on the fabric, on the outside edge of the fabric, I'm gonna pick up one thread and go right back in behind my serging again. Don't pull it too tight because you don't wanna pull and make a pick on the other side. There's right behind one thread here and then right behind my serging again. Pick up one thread and right in behind. And that's why this is a little bit of a slow process it can be a little fussy to get just that one thread. One thread of your fabric and then right behind. Now, I'm using bright red thread, so we might see a little hint of it on the other side. But if we need to use matching thread, you hardly, you really don't see anything. So let's take a look. There. Even with my bright red thread, you just see like tiny, tiny specks, right? And if you had matching thread, that you just wouldn't see anything at all. So that's beautiful. Good, so you'll go all the way around. Being patient, you can put a few pins in here if that helps hold it in place for you. Oops. 
once you get to the seam allowance you can dig right in you don't have to be so careful there because that you know as long as you're only in that one layer it's not going to show when you get back to where you started now you're going to do our little hand sewing knot which is where you make your one last little tiny stitch so as that loop forms you put your needle back through the loop pull that tight and go in again little tiny stitch put your needle back through the loop pull that tight and then I just make one more stitch before I cut my thread there we go so there's our hem where you really just don't see anything on the outside at all it's just beautiful okay so now if you don't have a serger I really dislike seeing people hem something with a raw edge on the inside here. That is just not good practice at all. Anytime you wash this, that's going to fray like crazy and you'll have threads hanging down. It's just going to look terrible. So please just never turn it once and sew that down. It breaks my heart. So instead, we're going to press two folds. And the first one is just going to be a little, little quarter inch, half a centimeter just that small little fold and I'm gonna just do one layer all the way around good so there's a quarter inch turn all the way around and because I've taken up that quarter inch turn I now I'm just gonna turn that second fold at one inch so you can set your sewing gauge to one inch and just mark that all the way around. And now the stitching is exactly the same. So tying that knot by rolling it through, pull that mess down, nice big fat knot at the end. And then I still want to hide my knot in behind there. And at the seam allowance, I can still dig right in and grab that whole seam allowance. And I just come out right at the edge of my fold. Now that I'm past the seam allowance, just picking up that one thread and tuck in behind the fold again. And remember not to pull it too tight because that'll make the little picks on the outside a bit more noticeable. One thread and right back behind. And when you get to the end, the knot is the same too. One last little tiny stitch, back through your loop, pull tight. Do that a second time. And then one more time through before you cut your thread. And again, it's just invisible and beautiful on the outside. So there you have it. Two ways of hemming a pant or a skirt. Uh, one entirely by hand and one using your serger. There's other details we could get into. What if, what if the pant is a flare or a taper? Or if you want on some very dressy trousers, especially for men, the front would be hemmed a little shorter than the back. So if you want details like that, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to make a video about that another time. All right, so I hope you got some good skills there. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you back next time. Thanks so much. Take care.